Hi, this is Dr. Greg Gillum with Human Fusion, and this is part four of Why Your Meetings Stink. Now, in the last couple of videos, we've talked about better assessing your meetings, and so you've done that a couple of times, perhaps, and now you're running better, more effective meetings. You're getting, uh, you're getting the hang of it. And then we talked about better preparation, and so you've been doing that, and now you feel like you really have the right people there, you have the right content, and now we're moving on to probably the most important strategy of all, and that is facilitation. Now, remember, facilitation starts not when the meeting starts, but actually when people are just starting to walk in the room. Are you, are you greeting them in, the, in a friendly manner? Uh, do you have water on the table? Do you have snacks? Are you playing music in the background, some things that can fill up? with a little bit of white noise, those types of things. These are all just kind of housekeeping 101 rules that go with, uh, with training and running meetings. Um, and so uh, the, the, the author also recommends here that you open up with a purpose statement. So remember when we wrote the agenda earlier, we might even have, have written the goals of the meeting on the top of the agenda. So that's a perfect time to, to say, hey, this is the goal of this meeting. The outcome is to accomplish X, Y, Z, that kind of thing. Um, do you have meeting values? Um, and are they posted anywhere? I had a, a company that I was a consultant for several years ago that wanted to write meeting values. And so we wrote six or seven different things that they wanted to adhere to in meetings. And we actually physically posted them on the wall so that if someone violated them during a meeting, someone could just walk over and remind participants about the meeting values. And that worked actually very, very well. Now, once the meeting actually gets started, you're going to shift into uh, facilitation mode, primarily a support role uh, during the rest of the meeting. So you're going to be, um, uh, you know, in uh, sort of encouraging a give and take. You're going to uh, make sure that attendees feel uh, psychologically safe, that they can say anything during the meeting, um, all in the, um, with good intentions, of course, uh, and that, that you want them to leave the meeting feeling very committed to the the goal and what's the what's the next course of action um, will be all right and so remember the rule of thumb is to only uh, take up about 40 percent airtime you want the participants having it way more than half so 60 uh, percent is the goal there kind of assess that uh, how can you get people to participate more you know, sometimes you say, hey, can I have a show of hands of who feels that way or who doesn't feel that way? That's one good thing. Some people have even introduced um, like anonymous website polls that people can go on their phone and you can very quickly get an anonymous uh, reading on something. That's a good idea. And the last idea that I really like here is something called brain writing, which is simply instead of brainstorming where people are kind of under stress a little bit, creative tension to come up with new ideas, you ask someone to read, um, uh, you know, maybe a half a page or whatever it is. You, you ask them to read it and then think about it and then write their thoughts before they actually brainstorm. And that's called brain writing. And that's been a very effective uh, technique for me uh, over the last few months uh, as I've just introduced that into my, into my training sessions. All right, that's it. That's part four. In the last uh, video, we'll talk about the last uh, strategy tip for uh, getting rid of these stinky meetings. So I hope that helps. If you like these videos and other management related videos, we'd love for you to subscribe to Human Fusion and turn on your notifications and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest management trends that are affecting your practice. Thank you and have a great day.